spot our gray heron, we'll be in France and take a little tour in the Vendée region. This is a bird you could easily meet anywhere in Europe as long as there's water, the heron says, here I am. Fresh or salt water, as long as there are fish, the heron is happy. The gray heron belongs to a family of wading birds. Their legs are long and stilt-like, you know, as if on stilts. When you see a gray heron seize his prey like this, you say, wow, he's a great hunter. <laughs> if you only knew. In fact, life is pretty hard for gray herons. For a start, even between neighbors of the same species, there is no allowance made. Each one has his own fishing spot. And it's out of the question to allow any other bird to come and grab even a little frog. That's right, herons also like frogs. Watch it. Didn't you hear what I just said? No need to mention that the gray heron has a terrible disposition, but do you know why? It's because he can't swim. He has to stand at the edge of the water as if he were being punished. True, he has very long legs that let him get close to the water, but his feet are not webbed. So he has to be careful always to have a good foothold. For a heron, there is only one solution. Hang around the shoreline for hours at a time, waiting for a fish to swim by so he can grab it in his beak. In the face of such injustice, some herons have developed another technique. No, they wait for fishermen, and at the end of the day, some fish are always dumped back into the water. Here we go. Herons know the boat schedules to the minute, and some fly 40 kilometers to be at the right place at the right time, because then all they have to do is grab the fish. Watch how the heron takes it. At no point does he actually land on the water. You see, his wings flap in the air, keeping him above the surface of the water. And once he has his fish, he just takes off. You'd almost say that he's walking on the water. If the heron is happy in the Vendée region of France, it's because it's dotted with lakes and swamps, vast expanses of water. For our friends here, it's better than a big shopping mall. And it has to be said, he's not a difficult customer. Anything within range of his beak, snake, water, spider, or pike, has a good chance of ending up in his stomach. Naturally, from time to time, a heron's eyes are bigger than his stomach, and uh, it makes taking off a problem. He does take an occasional break. And from his high perch, he keeps scanning the surface. Even if he knows every bit of the lake by heart, you never know when you, well, you might want a little snack. <laughs> 